Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create beautiful UIs quickly using this library called Daisy UI. Now this library is based on a CSS framework called Tailwind CSS, which is a way to write CSS faster. So in this video, I'll show you how to create this website over here using this Daisy UI components. And uh, we also have this dark mode over here. And if I click on this button, we can see that the theme of the website changes to a dark mode. So I'm going to show you how to quickly design this UI using the Daisy UI library. So let's get started. So you can go to this website called daisyui.com and this is the official website of the library. And here we can see that it says it's the most popular library for Tailwind CSS. So let's scroll down and uh, here we can see we have this demo of how the class should have been written using Tailwind. So this is all the classes we need to write for creating this button that we see over here. So here we can see all these classes must be written for a button like this. But when you use Daisy UI, you can just go ahead and uh, write this class right here. Button, button primary and you'll have this button. So in this way you can speed up the process of creating UI for your websites. And here we can see that using just Tailwind CSS, we have to write all these classes. And if you use Tailwind CSS and Daisy UI, then uh, this will be the code. And this is the output right here. So you can go to this website and read about all the different features of this library. And here it also has uh, themes. So you can go ahead and select one of these themes and uh, use it in your design. Now if you scroll up and go to this uh, section we can see that we have this button called see all components and if i click on that we can see that they have 55 components and these are all the components we have accordion alert artboard and all these other components over here now whenever you want to use any of these components you can just open the link of the component and just go ahead and copy this html or this jsx and copy it to your website and you can just go ahead and change these details over here so these are different footers that we have in Daisy UI. So in this way, you can go ahead and open any of these components and use them in your website. Now let's go ahead and quickly design this UI that we have over here. So I already have this uh, folder called Daisy UI in uh, my computer and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's go ahead and create a new file called index.html and uh, let's start writing the code over here. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And now let's go back to the Daisy UI website and uh, let's go to the home page. And uh, let's go to how to use. And here we have the docs of Daisy UI. And if you go to install, and here we can see that there are different frameworks that we can use uh, Daisy UI with. But for now, I'll just use CDN. And it is not recommended to use CDN for production websites, but uh, I'll just use it to quickly show you how to create this design. And you can use the same code when you use any of these other frameworks. So let's copy these two links from here. And let's paste it in the head section. All right, now let's start writing the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a division as the container. And let's add some Tailwind classes over here. So let's tap class. And let's set the max width to 4XL. Now this is a class of Tailwind CSS and uh, let's type mx auto so it will set the content to align to the center and uh, now let's go ahead and add the daisy ui components so i'll just go ahead and open this in our browser so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you have this installed you can just right click over here in the html file and click on open with live server so here we can see we have this uh, blank canvas and we already have this uh, background color over here, which comes from the Daisy UI library. So the first thing we will do is uh, we'll go to components and let's copy the nav bar. So here's the nav bar. So let's click on it. And uh, here are different options that we have. Now you can go ahead and uh, customize these to your needs if you want. I just go ahead and copy this. So let's click on HTML and let's copy this whole code from here. So you can just click on this copy button. Let's go back and paste it over here inside our container division and now if we go back to our website here we can see that we have this uh, daisy ui nav bar and the styling is all done for us because we are using these classes that we have in daisy ui so you can go ahead and change these to whatever you want 
and here we can see you can go ahead and change these links to whatever you want now the next thing we will do is we will add this button to change the theme so for that let's go over here and let's see which is the component for that so here we have theme controller so let's click on that and here we can see that this is used to change the theme so if i click on this we can see that the theme has changed so let's go ahead and select one of these uh, uis from here now there are a lot of different options i'll just select this one right here so let's go to html and let's copy this from here and uh, let's paste it over here just after this ul and uh, now we can see that we have this button for changing the theme so right now we can see that the theme has changed from one dark theme to the other dark theme so first of all we need to set the default theme so for that let's go back to our daisy ui docs and uh, let's go to this themes link and if you scroll down here we can see that there are different themes that we have in daisy ui so you can click on any of these and check out how the theme looks so by default we will set one of these light themes so i'll just set this theme called winter so for that you can just go over here to the html and here you can just type data hyphen theme equals winter and now we can see that by default we have this uh, light theme and for the dark theme we can set the theme over here in this component so right now the theme sets to synth wave so if you go back to themes here we can see that this is the synth wave theme let's change it to something different so i think this night theme looks fine so let's go back over here and let's change this to night and now if you go back and click on this button we can see that the theme has changed to the night theme and right now the icon is too large so let's go back over here and uh, here we can see that we have this svg and the height and width are set to 10 so let's change these to let's try six and let's scroll down and we have one more icon so let's change this to six as well and now we can see that we have the correct size for the icon so everything is working all right all right now let's quickly go ahead and add uh, another component over here for these images so for that we will use a component called carousel and you can use any of these components i'll just use uh, this first one right here so let's go to html and copy this Let's go back over here and uh, let's paste it after this division right here and now we can see that we have this uh, carousel with these different images you can go ahead and change these images to whatever you want i'll just leave it as it is and then the next thing we will add is uh, this stats section right here so for that let's go back over here and here we have this component called stat so if you scroll down we have different options over here so you can select any of these I'll just select this one right here so let's go to html and copy this and let's paste it over here and here we have these stats displayed over here now we can see that this stats component doesn't have full width and we also need to add some margin on top of this so for that let's go back over here and let's go to the container and uh, this is the container stats so here let's go ahead and type width of full now this is the tailwind class for setting the width to 100 percent and let's set the margin top to eight and now if you go back here we can see that we have full width and we also have this margin top and lastly let's also add a footer so let's go back over here and uh, let's go to footer and let's select one of these footers from here so i'll just select this one right here so let's go to html and copy this and uh, let's paste it over here and now if you go back to our website here we can see that we also have the footer let's add this photo outside the container division so let's cut this from here and let's add it right here and now we can see that we have this footer let's also add some margin top for this so i can just type mt and i'll just set it to 10 and this is a footer and let's also check whether this is responsive so let's reduce the width of the browser window and here we can see that when we reduce the width the footer changes the layout so everything is responsive and let's take a look at the dark theme and uh, this is how it looks so that's basically how you can quickly create uis using daisy ui all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day